Okay, next video. Um, I'm going to come straight off that and uh, say that I had to re record the audio because of uh, copyright claims because I had music playing in the background. So, forgive me if I seem a bit, um, you know, s skewed or different to what I'm doing. Anyway, what I'll be doing here is um, this is post production commentary, so you really getting your money's worth uh, with this video. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing is, I at this point, I'm changing the sketch of the part, and what I want to do is, um, I want to press the extrude button. Um, you'll see, we will set the direction towards the Y axis. You see down the bottom right corner, so we'll set it uh, Y, and set the length up. We take out the Z, of course, set the length to 60, which, as it is on the image. Um, we also create solid, because we want the whole thing to be solid. Uh, and then we select the sketch. So, OK that. And there we'll have the main uh, structure or the main unit, the main part of it. Uh, now, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll be doing the little fillets now. So it's hard to get that little um, edge on the back there, so I set to wireframe so that I can select some edges and go to fillet mode. Um, we select the shape, we want the extrude, because as you can see the sketch uh, the extrude depends on the sketch, um, and the extrude is the actual main part, whereas the sketch is just the white drawing. So, yes, we'll... I'm sort of just playing around and shit. You know, it's funny, I never actually realised how much I just babble on and waste time until after I watch the videos. Anyway, uh, hopefully by now I will... Um, select the shape, which is the extrude, and um, I'll begin selecting some edges to fill it. Fill it, if you don't know, is to make those round sort of edges. There's also jam, uh, chamfer, I think, to make uh, 45 degree angles, or like to cut it. But we want it nice and smooth, so we will use fill it. Um, We've selected the shape, and now we are picking what edges that we want to fill it. So, um, here you can see, yeah, we'll do these top few. So, one, two, three, four. Um, and we'll also do those into... You can see that they're all the same uh, radius as well, which is... Good, so that's why we select all these ones. Um, now we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, and they're all radius of twelve. Uh, we go down to here. Here I actually make a mistake. I set the radius to twelve. You would think that that's, you know, obvious. I mean, that's what it does there. But you can, you'll you'll find that it doesn't work. I don't know if this is a problem with FreeCAD or a problem with um, just my thing about it. Like I said in the first video, I'm actually pretty new to CAD in general. But, uh, anyway, uh, the reason f for that error is because, uh, I don't think Fillet is really expecting to get rid of the edge. And you can see, if we were to do it on the back bit there, or, um, get rid of that edge entirely, so the way, yeah, so I'm pointing it to it now, so if it's filleting that, but it's not expecting to get rid of that edge on there, so, or that face, I should say, face is probably the more correct term, anyway, so um, I'll select all these uh, edges again, um, listen to me. That music was playing in the background very, very faintly, and uh, made a file 
lawsuit, sort of uh, copyright kind of thing, which was annoying. Which is why I have to redo this now. Uh, it's interesting just watching myself. Anyway, I've selected all the edges and I changed it to 11.99. So you know, close as possible to 12, but not actually 12 because 12 just breaks. That's probably a problem with FreeCAD. I should take it to the um, forums or something. Um, but, yeah, um, you can see it made the nice edge anyway, I mean, it didn't, you know, mess up the wireframe or anything. Um, so, yeah, this is the general shape of things. Um, now, I don't know what necessarily Oh yes, that's right, I'm fixing an error here. You can see here in the picture uh, that little lip is a whole lot smaller than it's meant, like, than it's really meant to be, because you know, modeling is all about to be, like, in scale and all that sort of stuff. They're meant to be technical drawings and it doesn't quite look right. Um, here I'm just using the measurement tool, which is up the uh, top right. I don't actually know how to use the measurement tool, I'm just figuring it out as I'm going along. Um, I find that that's uh, 16 millimeters where it's actually meant to be 11. Um, the problem here is I used an odd reference point for drawing. Anyway, if I unit, you know, use the sketcher workbench and go to the sketch that everything is dependent on. And you can see here that I made that bottom bit uh, 11 millimeters when it shouldn't because 11 millimeters is from the top to the bottom. So, um, with that 5 millimeter gap, there should actually be 6, so I'll change that now to 6. And, yeah, that looks, it looks a lot more like the picture. You'll see that the, the uh, measurement there will be 11 now. There's the 16 millimeters, which is just incorrectly measuring. Um, because that's just there from before. Um, I'll actually measure the proper about now. Um, sorry, set the view. Um, become acquainted with the toolbar as well as you're learning how to use FreeCAD. Um, here I'll, I'll clear the measurements and, um, yep, select two points. We'll not try and get and you'll see it says 11 millimeters, um, which is good. Uh, the only other things were the holes, which I won't do in this video, but I make a start on the uh, on the sketching um, with uh, you know CAD sort of drawing. It's different to um, using programs like Blender, because Blender is, um, I think it's volumetric is the correct term, so, you know, it's, m it's data that it exports are just a collection of points, where CAD doesn't work like that. CAD says, you know, this is a rectangle and this is a circle and whatnot to make those smooth points because you know if you try and draw a circle in something like blender it has to be split up into triangles where this is um you know a nice smooth circle um, because it just says put a circle here it doesn't say put a whole bunch of triangles here um, so anyway, um, I don't know what I'm doing in this part of the video, I think I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing the sketch bit and um, trying to do those holes. So it's much the same as before, um, you know, sketch is the actual drawing part of these CAD programs. So um, here I'll actually just make a, a quality constraint between those two circles. Um, You've got to select the outer um, arc if you want to 
do something like this full circles, you have to select the outside arc. And, um, yeah, I make the radius, um, what is it, diameter of 10, so I'll make the radius 5. Uh, and there's also, uh, in the next video, I, <laughs> I have this full side of the next video, so I know what is coming up. I apologize. I won't spoil it for you. You should just go watch the other video. Um, yeah, I also, there's no constraint to make the two circles horizontal to each other. So, yeah, I've just got to specify um, the length uh, the length from horizon. Uh, or distance from horizon, I should say. And, uh, yeah, work on both of them. There might be a horizontal constraint um, between two circles. I mean, I know there's one for a line, but there might be one for a circle. Um, if there is, let me know in the comments or whatever. Um, yeah, here I'm just looking over the toolbar options. It's horizontal distance. That would be what I'm asking for. Um, there's other stuff. But I pretty much just settled on distance from horizontal um, because it's yeah, it's not messy. It's you just do it. You get it all over and done with. Um, I am slow at this. I realize I should I might actually just do videos first without talking and then talk over it. I mean, it seems a bit better on my end. I don't have to think um, in front so much. It's like, hmm, oh, this is what I'm doing, and now I'm just wasting time. So, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, 15 from the edge, so that makes it 15 from the other edge, because it's 60 across. Um, if you can't do basic maths, then, you know, engineering, modeling, and whatnot, it's probably not good for you. Probably fine for your profession. You can see here, I can't move it around and whatnot. It's all green, it's fully constrained. Um, you know, that's exactly what you want in a sketch. I mean, you can only work on fully constrained sketches. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, I actually make a mistake, yeah, well, I've made a mistake, um, I'll talk about it in the next video, um, but the process, generally, you know, we want to map a sketch to a face, um, we select the sketch over one, um, we actually need to select the uh, face first, but I think I'll do this in the next video, yep. So, that's the end of this video, and next video I will finish off the shape. See ya.